Mark, I'll start it off. Kind of same question I asked uh, Carson a second ago when, when Coach <coughs> talked about the decision making aspect being the most important part. Most important. That kind of where you think you are, <coughs> excuse me, from that standpoint right now. Uh, when it comes to decision making, it's just all about being consistent and like just not going like this right here. And at the quarterback position, you got to have somebody like that, 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 that's this right here, whether that's the physical aspect or the mental aspect. Uh, you just got to stay the same and just stay consistent during practice. Uh, when stuff doesn't go your way, you can't make a bad play, a, cat a catastrophe. That's what Coach Bobo always tells us. And uh, I think that's something I've been getting better at is just making sure I stay the same and not, not having great plays, a really bad plays. Just, just keeping the same, just trying to keep hammering it down. Brock, what's it been like getting to work with Coach Bobo and, you know, talking to his past quarterbacks, they talk about how demanding he is. And what, what has that kind of been like, uh, you know, having him there and the way he coaches the position? Uh, Coach Bobo, he's uh, he's pretty intense. And, uh, I mean, he, on the first day he came in the quarterback room, he said, I'm going to I'm gonna coach y'all hard, and I, I hope y'all I hope y'all are open to that. And, uh, yeah, heck, he didn't really give us a choice. He said, I'm going to coach y'all hard, and that's the way it's going to go. And we all said, yes, sir. <laughs> and uh, I, th I think it's been really good just the way he's been coaching us. Uh, he has a reason for everything he does. Uh, his meetings go well. And um, yes, sir. Coming from the smallest classification to the SEC in high school football and to the state of Georgia, to the University of Georgia, how have you adjusted to kind of the SEC speed? And how long did it take you to kind of pick up on things? Uh, I don't know. Uh, I feel like. Whenever you think about it, like stuff like that, I feel like it's kind of relative. Just uh, maybe you're at a smaller school like single A. Uh, maybe your O linemen aren't as good. Like and you're having to do this, this, and this. And just I feel like a hey, whenever you get to SEC, the D linemen are a lot better. Your O linemen is a lot better and stuff like that. And uh, guys are faster. Uh, that was the main thing for me. Is just it's tighter windows and uh, throwing the ball tighter windows. You got to be more timing is more important. Your dude's not gonna be able to sit there open for three seconds before, before you give him the ball because he's gonna be covered. But uh, just the game flow and the game speed has been probably the biggest transition and uh, it helps being able to go against one of the best defenses in the country every day of practice. Brock, how do you feel like your mindset has changed, if at all, just as a player and competitor this spring now that you have a chance to come in and really compete for this starting job? Uh, I would say it hadn't really ever changed. I mean, everybody's going to say that they have belief and trust in themselves, and uh, I base a lot of my life on my faith, and I believe that God has a plan for me regardless of where I'm at or what I'm doing, and uh, that just that's never changed. I'm just uh, I believe God has a plan for me, and I'm gonna I'm gonna be here, and I'm gonna do my job every day, and what's asked of me, and control the controllables. What's it like from practice to practice, drill to drill, kind of you know who's up, who's down, who had a good day, who didn't. Like, how much does that cross your mind, and how do you handle that? Uh, I, it's, it's, it's something I really don't try to think about. Uh, like what I said earlier, just control the controllables is a big thing in my life. And, uh, heck, I mean, you, you can't you can't control what other people are doing. You can't control the reps you're doing. Just what, what the reps that you get, the reps they give you, go in there, do your job, do your best, and then hopefully good things follow. I don't, I don't know how close you are to the other quarterbacks in the room, just as friends. But if you guys are really close, what's that like when you're competing every day against each other? Eventually, you know, one guy's gonna win that job. What, what's that balance like? Uh, I think it's just really uh, comes down to like healthy competition. I mean, if if you have a dude that's one of the best in the in the nation or wherever, and then you have a couple of lesser opponents, that that guy's not gonna get pushed every day in practice. And uh, I mean, we have three or four dudes that are just, I mean, they're biting, they're biting at the nip every time they're out there, and just uh, you know. Hey man, uh, after this play, if I got a question, I can turn around and ask somebody like, "What did they see? What would you see on this play?" And uh, it's just a really healthy competition because everyone's pushing the others to be great, and then you can turn around in the meeting rooms and say, "Hey, I, I think you could have done this better," or "What did you see on this play?" And it's just it's just a good environment, and uh, I'm glad to be here. Oh, Brock Kirby said you put on 12 or 15 pounds. Can you tell us how you did that? And then also, how would you how would you describe yourself as a, a runner outside the pocket? Uh, first with the weight gain, living with Brock Bowers and Chaz Chambliss, uh, <laughs> you don't really have a choice but to eat food. So uh, I, I've been eating, I've been finishing my meals was the main thing. And, uh, <laughs> having the fourth meal of the day, that's just something that they do that was new to me. But uh, doing that and uh, and lifting a lot and making sure uh, I'm going up on my weight in certain areas. And uh, could you could you repeat the second if question? You just describe yourself uh, as a runner outside the pocket your mentality. Uh, I, I think like I, I said in high school, just uh, I, I don't like to see myself as a dual threat guy. Like I'm gonna run past these dudes, all this. 
I feel like just a, a pocket passer that can extend the play if need be, and uh, hopefully I'm accurate on the run and make good decisions. I ask you about it, of course, of course, your dad's a long-time coach. Whenever you're the, the son of a, a coach, how was that? How was how was he helped you? I guess in all those years, and especially right now, and as you compete the starting job, what's kind of some of the best advice he's given you throughout all this? Uh, probably some of the best advice that my dad ever gave me was just, uh, or it wasn't really advice. It was just you have to take coaching, and like there was there was practices where I'd be running around the practice field at Prince Avenue for the last thirty minutes of practice doing something wrong, like. And it's it's because I talked back or said something, but uh, just making sure I look look my coaches dead in the eye, say yes sir, whether you like it or not. If you have an explanation, if they were wrong, you can tell them in the meeting room. They don't want to hear it on the field. Is the biggest thing that my dad taught me, and it's helped me because I, knock on wood, I hadn't had any anything happen like that because I've been able to take coaching and so just say yes sir on the field, and maybe go back in, in meetings and ask about it. What's it been like just being in the middle of this competition with Carson? I mean, you know, we've talked to Kirby and talked to y'all's teammates. They, they talk really highly about all of you guys, how competitive it is. What's it like being in the middle of this competition with someone like Carson? Uh, it's, just, it's just what you come here to do. I mean, you come to UGA for competition. And uh, I knew that coming in. I said, Coach Smart, he's going to put the best guy out there. He's going to give the, the best guy that has the, that gives George the best chance to win. He's going to be out there. And uh, – it's just being in this competition, it's a blessing, and I feel like I'm going to be a better player for it regardless of the outcome. What are the biggest ways that you're, or what are the biggest things you're kind of focusing on this spring as far as ways you want to grow and develop your game? So just with ways I'm trying to, like, grow and develop my game would just be a uh, like defensive recognition. I uh and when you go with the threes or the twos, like you can you can look out there and pretty much have a feel for what they're gonna be in. Like, all right, they're starting this, it's probably gonna end up in this. When you get out with the, there with the ones, you can look up there, you can catch the ball, look back up, and it's something totally different. And just just being able to study and look at different things that help to tip give that stuff away and uh just studying film is the main thing that will help with that and just uh watching other opponents as well. Just just getting better at watching film, yes ma'am. Coming in, Logan Johnson came ready from high school. What's it, what was it like, you know, transitioning with him and then uh, just having him around? Uh, it's always good. We uh, Logan's a good ball player, and uh, we're still still good friends. He uh, he had to overcome the ACL injury, so um, that was tough for him. But I was always in his corner, and uh, I'm glad he made the trip. You know, when you look at quarterbacks today, you know, a lot of quarterbacks don't want to wait around. You know, going into the portal. What was sort of your mindset, you know, in the time you've been here and, and stay in the course, stay in here and, and wait until you got a chance? So with my mindset, like what 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 what, in, what, what I put into that was uh, just like, hey, um, I, I'm learning stuff. I'm getting better under Coach Munkin and uh, now Coach Bobo. Like if I if I wasn't getting reps, if I wasn't getting better, then yeah, I would have left. But just being able to know that my game's getting better mentally and physically. I'm learning so much about the game of football, and I'm going against one of the best defenses, one of the fast-paced defenses in the SEC and in the nation. Just I was being a better player for it, and uh, that, that's one of the main reasons. Carson talked about how important it was for him to get in the games. Obviously, you haven't had necessarily as many game reps. How have you tried to overcome that? And along those same lines, how have you tried to be a leader without necessarily being the oldest in the room? Yeah, just, uh, just taking, like, uh, with with not being able to get in the games and stuff like that as much, uh, just with your practice reps, you got to treat everything like it is a game. And whenever we go to Sanford and have the, the scrimmages in the stadium, the, those are game reps. I mean, you might not be getting teed off on, but that's probably the only difference. I mean, they're flying around out there. We're flying around up here, and all the calls are the same. All the signals are the same. And so you just got to treat that mentally as that's a game. The shot clock's going to be up there. The time's going to be up there. And you're just you're playing your scrimmage and your practice just like a game. Kirby said you made some good plays outside the pocket. He said there were some balls you threw out of bounds that could have been 50-50 balls. How would you break down your scrimmage one and then two? I think you're on pace to graduate in three years. What, what is your degree in and how have you been able to graduate in three years when maybe other guys don't graduate that fast? Yes, sir. Uh, just going over my scrimmage, there's going to be good things you like, bad things you like, and uh, – just there's a, there's a notepad of things that that was bad, and there's a couple things that's good, and that's whenever you're grading yourself, you got to be tough on yourself, and uh, that's just something that I was working on. I was watching film this morning with Coach Gummy, and uh, just being able to just put that on the practice field, like stuff that you might not have done well on Saturday, making sure that you do well 
I mean, on, on practice and carry that forward. And uh, with the graduation, I, uh, I graduated with some credits out of high school, so that kind of put me ahead a little bit. And uh, I've stayed on my school. I'm just trying to do my job, and yes, sir, I'll graduate this fall. What's your, what's your major? Uh, communication studies. We've got time for two more questions with Brock. Brock, uh, how, how young were you when you saw your, came to your first Georgia game? And just the, from the standpoint, man, I'm here competing for the starting quarterback job. Is that kind of a pinch me type deal for you? Uh, so kind of a plot twist. I grew up an Auburn fan because yeah. my mom went to Auburn yeah. and stuff. But uh, I think when I was getting recruited, that was my first time being to a Georgia game. Yeah. And just being in the SEC atmosphere is, is awesome. I mean, the stadium's going to be rocking regardless of where you're at. Just uh, that pinch me moment. Just the first time we went out there to stretch, I think it was the first home game. I just I teared up. I was like, man, this is – I hadn't made it, but I'm, I'm one step closer. And it's just – it was surreal. By the time spring is over, what do you – Hope to have shown the coaches, your teammates, just in, in what you've done over the entire spring. Uh, just at the end of spring, I would I'd, I'd like the coaches and my teammates to see like, hey, this guy's a guy who's going to go to war for us. He's going to go to battle for us, and uh, hopefully the coaches will see that, or hopefully the coaches can think that this is one of the guys that we can trust and that uh, trust will be built, and that this is a guy that's going to be consistent. What have you seen out of the uh, the two uh, transfers, uh, wide receiver? Yeah, both of our uh, wideouts, uh, or both of our new transfer wideouts, Dom and Rara, they, uh, they're they they're very explosive, I, I will say that. They uh, but just learned the playbook coming in from uh, Mississippi State and Missouri. Um, our playbook is very big. There's a lot of stuff that we put on our wideouts and our skilled position players, and uh, they're just, they're they're learning that so much, and they're spending extra time learning that, and uh, my hat's off to them, but they're, uh, they're very explosive guys, and they'll go get the ball. Thanks, Thanks bro. Thanks, bro.